Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. Good morning, Reptile Rescue family. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. I got to do this video. I've done a lot of videos, I think, on giving bearded dragon baths or some part of it there's I'm giving the bearded dragon a bath and people still ask how do you give a bearded dragon a bath I guess I want to go over it correctly again just to hit some points for anyone maybe some people are new and they don't want to watch the other videos that's fine we'll get right into this one it's not going to be difficult so you need some type of tub I recommend one that has a lip that's pretty high up this lip is like seven inches so you don't have to worry about your bearded dragon jumping out. And if you don't know how much water to start, you know, this has got about half an inch to an inch of very lukewarm water in here. But then you can have a container. It's always smart to have a container nearby. I got a gallon pitcher right here of lukewarm water and a toothbrush. And these are really the essentials that you need. Now, why do I have the extra water? Well, we're going to put Archimedes in her bath. There she goes. And she'll move around. My Archimedes, go over there. Try to stay in the shop, for God's sakes. Be professional. I see people give baths with too much or too little water. It's hard when you got too much. How are you going to really get that water out? You can take the bearded dragon out. You can dump some water. It's really hard. But the easiest way is put some water in there. Get your bearded dragon in there. See where the, the water lines up. And if you don't, you know, if you want to make a mark, if this is going to be your tub, so you always know good. But the easiest way is, once you have your bearded dragon in there, and you see, oh, it's too little, just introduce some lukewarm water, like so. Simple, and you can get the perfect amount every single time. You don't have to return on the tub or return on the sink, and it makes so much noise and it scares your bearded dragons. You just take, And you pour some water in. Don't You don't have to pour it on top of the dragon. Just pour it in a safe spot. Now, what is the correct amount of water? Well, it varies based on the size of your bearded dragon, obviously, and the size of the tub. But where what, what people like to do is they like to use the bearded dragon's body as a scale of reference. And I tell people, you want it to come... Uh, because bearded dragons, guys, they can flatten themselves. They can, they can stand up on all four legs really tall so it changes so you want to find the relaxed position for your bearded dragon in the tub here it is this and you want it to get um, fully cover the back legs and the tail base because most of the time they'll lay these flat and a lot of the times they don't want to you know drown so they will hold their upper body up higher so you have the water just get it and cover up the whole base of the tail and that should get about halfway up the back. This is all dry, this is all wet. That's a good amount to put enough water in there to make sure the bearded dragon is got water where it needs to be and I think we'll talk about that a little bit as well. So another important thing is people need to understand what's happening in this bath because it's very important to give your bearded dragons a bath at least once a week and no it's not just to clean them. Although that could happen, but if your bearded dragon goes to the bathroom in the tank and it gets on itself and things like that, then you need to give them a bath anyways at that time. Now what if your bearded dragon, like Archimedes, is a really clean pooper, poops in one spot, doesn't get it all over herself, gets it on herself, not at all, and then stays away from that poop? Why is it still important to give her a bath? Okay, great questions. Glad you asked, even though I asked. It does a lot of things. One is it does... Give your bearded dragon the chance to hydrate itself if it wants to drink. That's right. If your bearded dragon is really lacking in water, when you put them in a bath, sometimes you can drip a little bit of water on their nose. Let them know there's water here, uh, that they're in water, because they can't see standing, non-moving water very well. Although they will remember 
where the water is if you give them a water bowl or you put them in the bath. But you can see Archimedes, she doesn't want to drink. She's not even licking her mouth. So, okay, that's fine. Good. So, but it gives them that chance to hydrate their body. Okay. Two, it lets them hydrate their scales. So this is important. If there's any stuck shed, if any shed is getting ready to happen, you can help loosen it for them. It's not needed, but it's just a nice benefit that we can do. We can help them shed easier. They don't have this help in the wild, but they normally, their skin doesn't look as perfect like this in a the wild. They'll have little scars of stuck shed. That doesn't kill them, but we can just help. So that's another benefit. The third benefit, though, is this can be a really big stress reliever for them. Now, some dragons, guys, they don't like the bath. It seems to be more minimal, but there are some of those out there. And normally you can you can help in those situations to you know give them better baths, uh, calmer baths, things like that. But not all dragons love going in a bath. But the reason why this can be a stress relief is also for their organs. If you've got a bearded dragon that has... Maybe it's backed up, it hasn't gone to the bathroom in a while, it could be a female that's healthily producing eggs. There's a lot of weight and there's a lot of stress going on in their internal organs, especially in these areas back here. Obviously, you have some buoyancy, right? You weigh less if, when you're in the water. If you've ever been in the water and you go to pick someone up that you normally can't pick up, all of a sudden you can hold them in their hands. It's in your hands. It's really cool. So, this helps relieve that pressure. Now, what is a side effect of this? If your bearded dragon may be getting ready to take a crap, this can help promote it. It's very, very normal to see reptiles, not just bearded dragons, go to the restroom when in the restroom, go to the bathroom when in the bath because it's just helped taking that pressure, that strain off, and it's just much easier on their body to push all that waste out. So that can be a side effect that happens and it's positive. The other thing though that you should do, even if you don't think your bearded dragon is dirty, when they are in the bath, is you should toothbrush them. And no, not in their mouth. Um, it's very important to give a nice light scrub on their undersides. Even if you don't see poop on them, they could have a little dirty little dust. It can build up and, you know, it can build up in between their fingers. And this is really easy to do. You just take a normal soft bristle toothbrush. It's a good size for bearded dragons, especially because we're going to do their feet. You get it wet, which is real easy to do. And a lot of the times you can just let the bearded dragon relax. It's basically Manny Petty Day for them. So here's their foot. We're going to always scrub out from the base towards the fingers because we don't want to accidentally come back in and break any fingers or do anything, cause any pain. So you just wet the toothbrush, lightly pick up the foot so the toothbrush can go under, and then watch this. I put my finger on top of the palm and just scrub out to all the fingers and done. And if they have poop on their hands or underneath their nails, this gets it all. You brush through the nails. You want the nails to go through the brush. That way, if, you know, when they have their curved nails, if anything were to build up in the nail, the brush goes through and it gets the whole nail. Nice and simple. It doesn't cause any stress. And you don't have to pick the foot up very high. I pick it up so it's just barely higher than the toothbrush. Look at that. Nice and done. Do the front. Through the nails. Very nice. Now, I'll spin her and do the other side, but we also need to clean the tail. So, same thing. Barely pick the tail up. It's just enough room for the brush to get underneath, and then just do a nice brush. Now, sometimes their tail's really dirty, and you do have to scrub it in both ways if they... Because, you know, they poop here and sometimes they walk forward and they drag their tail through it, even though they're supposed to raise their tail when they poop and move away. Sometimes bearded dragons can get lazy. So if you have to scrub the tail back and forth, that's okay. Just be gentle. But the easiest way to not disturb the dragon is to just go from the middle of the body and out. Now, this can sometimes 
stimulate them to poop as well because you're moving around, you're massaging near where they poop and it can give them the, the stimulation to, oh, you know, you, you've kind of opened the hatch. So don't, don't be alarmed if you do see your bearded dragon on her own or his own, raise their tail up, get their legs ready. You've just stimulated around the cloaca there and they can poop. Hopefully this has been helpful guys on how to give your bearded dragon a proper bath. Take care everybody. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.